this little tongue to pop up. can't type. Okay. I think we're live. All right. So welcome, welcome, welcome back to our channel. I know there's some of you that are returned. You already subscribed and you're tuning in with us. Thank you so much for coming back. Yep. We got our beverages. We're ready to get into a fun chat today. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, life made with Maya. Hi, life with B. What's up? What's, What's up? up Good evening. I hope y'all got something to drink. <laughs> um, for anyone, this will be up on our channel after the live is done. So I always like to just give a disclaimer um, so that if you're coming back to our channel and you were not part of the live, you know exactly where to go in the time where we start covering content so make sure you check the description box i'll include a timestamp on when we actually get into the content mm -hmm. um so you can just click right there if you just want to get into the tips um but if you're new to our channel we're finding the foresters i'm tiffany and brian and we are a travel couple travel family we tra share our travels around the world we hope to inspire others to travel we also give travel tips we share our travel itineraries hotel reviews all of that along the way so welcome 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 hope you consider staying um and once you enter say hi to us we're looking at the chat and make sure you also give a thumbs up and make sure you share this live if you think someone else could benefit from this information so what's up what's up what's up? hi dre and shan what's up thank you for joining you guys thank you so much um so i hope you all followed instructions i said grab a drink or a snack and come chat who has a drink who has a drink? I'm drinking. What am I drinking? I don't know. Oh, is I that... forgot which one. We're drinking two different things. Yeah, I picked up wine. I'm part of a local wine club. And so I picked up some wine um, for my pickup. And so I don't remember which one is in here. I think this is a, I don't remember. Yeah. I'm normally a red wine drinker, but they gave us wine just white this time. Yeah, this is a petite mensing. So you grabbed that one? Pretty sweet. I, we don't really don't like, like super sweet, sweet yeah. wines, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll drink it. Right. Um, if you don't, I mean, you could be drinking water too, and that's fine. That's fine if you're drinking water. Mm -hmm. Who's, oh, somebody just said I have water and cranberry. On the the oh, oh, okay. I thought it was just going to stop at water. Okay. Oh, cranberry on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Life would be told they got water and cranberry on the rocks. We're buffering. We're buffering, so we're trying to make sure that we. Oh, okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Sorry, we were buffering, so we we're giving it a little time. Dre and Shannon are drinking water, no wine for a while. Okay, I get it. You know, I get it. Um, okay, so what's the cheapest you've ever paid for a flight? Like, who feel like they got the best flight? What's the cheapest you've ever paid for a flight? Let us know in the comment section. And if you are already subscribed, let us get a hashtag subscribed. If you um, are not, what are you waiting on? Subscribe. Taxes. <laughs> what? The, oh, oh, those, so the cheapest that Dre and Shanda paid for a tax is just, just taxes. Oh, so uh. same with life with B, just taxes. Oh, your fiance works for Delta. For the plug. You get the hookup then. I mean, right, you know. Right, she be plugged. Oh, and Dre and Chan said they pay taxes because they have friends who work for the airline. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a tip we weren't going to share. Find your airline friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tip number one, I mean, find your airline industry. friend. Yep. Um, no. Okay. So seriously, let's, let's get into um, some of our tips and continue to communicate with us in the chat. We will stop and, and veer off. Um, so our tips, we have 10 tips to share with you. We just thought of an 11th one from the chat box to so find your airline friend. <laughs> But for us, seriously, so first tip is follow the deal. Be flexible on your destination. That is the, out of mm -hmm. all of our tips, that is the 
biggest way to save on flights. So what we like to do is we keep a list of places that we want to want to travel to so we always talk about travel like you know one day we want to go this place and this place and this way but mm. this place and we keep a list and then you have to be flexible on knowing when you're going to go each place so you might find a flight deal that pops up that's for south africa and you're like okay well that's on our list i guess we're going to south africa next because a flight deal popped up for this look this um destination for these months so that's literally the biggest biggest way is to be flexible on your destination yeah. um and I'm not saying so be flexible to the point of just going places that you don't want to go. Yeah. Make make sure it, it fits your general list. Yeah, make yeah, make it like you said, make a list. Some destinations, uh, I guess if you're going as a group, some discussion some destinations the groups wanna to go to. If you're going as yourself, just some destination you you wanna go to and mm -hmm. just whatever the best deal pops up, take it. Yep. Go ahead, tip number two. Oh, where we at? Shoot. Oh, okay. So tip number two would be going to your destination on off-peak times or riding that shoulder or the cusp of the off-peak time. Um, like, for example, when we went to Greece, um, their peak time was, a, I want to say it was like June to like October or something like mm -hmm. that. But we went in May and that was like right before the peak time, but it was still off-peak for us. So we got, you know, we was able to fly to Greece for pretty cheap price. Hey Desiree, what's up? Hey, hey Desiree. Make sure once up? you enter, you're, you're clicking the like button. Yeah. Uh, we're also, we asked everybody what they're drinking. So if you're drinking some, let us know what you're drinking. If you're snacking on something, let us know. So co and lime probably. What's up Lynette <laughs> and Stanley, Life With Us TV. Hi, up, hi, bro? thanks for joining. Um, So with, with that, so definitely try not to go during the peak season. Try to go in the off peak time, of course. With all of these, there's going to be a sacrifice that you make. <laughs> Lynette saying this says Sprite Zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's going to be a um, a sacrifice you have to make. So it may not be the busiest of time or the perfect weather. But right. when we say shoulder the peak season, that doesn't mean, say for Brian's example, the peak season started in June. Same thing with Maldives. The peak season... Like when we went in May, it was technically the rainy season. Yeah. But, but it, it literally <laughs> was the very beginning of rainy season. So we, we did the shoulder of the peak season. So mm. we would still get pleasant weather. But just by changing to go a couple of weeks in advance, you can save a lot of money. Literally yeah. hundreds of dollars just by doing that. So, you know, you, you, you run a little bit of risk, you know, because you're doing the shoulder season. So it might be a little bit more warmer than you want, a little colder than you want. Um, like for Greece, we weren't able to do much water stuff yeah, because it was, it was warm enough to be out there with shorts and a tank top. Yeah. But that's not the same as warm enough to be in the water yeah. water. But we didn't mind that much because we knew that we were going to Athens and we knew we were going to Santorini. And we weren't, it wasn't the perfect time to go to, to um, Mykonos where we knew that if we go there, we got to be at the beach clubs yeah, beach, and stuff like that. Water, so we didn't yeah. pick that, that destination. Yeah. Um, the next thing is be flexible on your dates. So this is kind of similar to going to off-peak times, but it's, it's different, very different. What we mean by this is sometimes you're in the, the search bar and you will see um, that you can either search for your specific dates or sometimes some search engines give you opportunity or a option to search for um, flexible dates. Like you can select that. Hey, Candice, how you doing? How you doing? Make sure everyone's clicking the like button. So if you can, if you're ever flexible on your dates, even mm -hmm. if it's a few days flexibility, do that yeah. because you might find that you can save hundreds of dollars. No kidding. We did this with Greece where um, our anniversary is in May. And so we're like, okay, we're going to fly out on this date and come back on this date. And then I don't know how we figured it out. I guess we must have just picked the flexible date option. And we literally found out that if we leave one day earlier, we saved $300 per day ticket just by changing going may 1st to leaving april 30th right so be flexible on your dates right yep and like she was saying earlier with, with the, when you do this flight selection they will have this little plus one or or you'll see a plus or a negative that means either you do a day or two before or a day or two afterwards and like you said as long as the main time you want to be there is like within that day because like she said may 5th as long as we're there during may 5th that doesn't matter. That was the point that we was there for to celebrate our anniversary. So, you know, a couple of days here and there if you want to go on a Wednesday instead of a Thursday, things like that. But yeah, Tiffany already explained it. But 
yeah, just think of the main reason why you're there and just try to make it to be around that date and just be flexible with it. Yeah, like literally one day, guys, one day difference can make a big di difference. Desiree said that she feel like you look into her soul when you look at the she camera. Says that she says that all the time. Judge. She says that all the time. What? No, what? Let me see. Look at the camera. Let me see. <laughs> you being extra. I'm joking. <laughs> I, got, I guess I got big eyeballs. I don't know. It's, I, I, I stare. I don't know. Oh, she said, where's the like button on live? So if you, well, if you're looking at it in the full screen, you may not see it. But if you minimize it and you look literally right below the the um, screen, you'll see a like button right there. So just look a little. Somewhere down. around there. Oh, if you're on your phone? <laughs> I guess. Oh, I don't know if you're on your phone. I don't know. I'm about to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so um, the next flight deal. Um, the next tip is follow uh, the flight deal websites. Um, you have the flightdeal.com, which we use quite frequently. Um, there's another site called Momundo. Uh, they also give you flight deals. Um, you can change the dates um, as you go to see what, what the better time, I guess, whatever, but what's the better time to get better price for the time that you want to fly. And, um, oh, she's turning up now. I'm trying to find out on the phone with the click. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. I don't know. Um, and then there's another, another, the last site that we know about is secret, uh, secretflying.com that also posts, um, flight deals and, um, you could go through. And like I said, like we said before, you could pair those flight, those websites with the list of the flights that of the list of the destinations you want to go to and like say you want to go to South Africa and you all of a sudden you see something on secret of flying or flightdeal.com on, Af on South Africa and you just pick it off your list and go ahead and do your thing you know what I'm saying so use those they they, pick, they post frequently I like the flight deal a lot cuz you could kind of you could select which city you're actually mm -hmm. in and then they'll only provide uh, flight deals for that city that you're currently residing in um so we have it filtered for like Washington DC so we only see Washington DC stuff if we were to move or we was in a different city at the time or we were traveling to another city and we went, hey, we're over there, let's go fly, yeah, X, Y, Z. We cater it towards wherever we're at at the time. So um, we like Flight Deal a lot and Secret Flying. Yeah, and um, Flight Deal is one that we've actually used several times to, to find really good deals. So we are, we're, we're not sponsored by saying this or anything, like we've actually used it yeah, we and we, really, we found really good deals. And Secret Flying, we have never actually booked the flight deals that we saw on Secret Flying, but we see some amazing ones. And the last thing I'll say there is we do track flight deals and we share it with our viewers and subscribers. We don't do that on YouTube because it, it would be kind of weird to just do like a 15 second video. But if you follow us on our Facebook, Facebook group, we are the same name on Facebook. So if you search Finding the Foresters on Facebook and join that group, whenever we see great flight deals or um, if we have C4, flight travel related articles with sharing flight information, we always share it with our Facebook community. Yep. So make sure you're following us on Facebook if you want to keep track of flight deals. Yep. Um, sort of similar, but very different is um, tracking your flight. So these are, there's some sites where you can, hey Bryce, can you quiet down a little bit? I don't think you hear me. Um, there's some, there's some flight, websites where you can track your flight but they're not necessarily going to tell you a flight deal per se but they'll tell you the best date to book your flight so think about things such as google flights such as skyscanner such as hopper you can put in your travel dates your ideal travel location and then they will track and let you know the best time of year or the best date to book that flight based off of them tracking the market the flight market mm -hmm. um skyscanner goes a little bit deeper which I, I really like it where you can also look for what's good flight deals for a certain month or time of year so you can say i really want to go somewhere in june what's the cheapest places to travel in june or february whatever the month is and you can do that on skyscanner yep yep we use those a lot they, they send you randomly they send you automatic um emails based off your search as well so i mean you could just be chilling <laughs> apms like oh we got it we got a uh Flight deal uh, is cheap at this at this point in time for this. If book now, it might go up or it might go down. It'll tell you the preferred time <laughs> to book uh, the flight. Desiree um, said, your hair looks good. Thank you. Is it coconut oil? No, it's not coconut oil. <laughs> I don't use coconut oil. My, my favorite oil is argon oil. FYI. But, yeah. Mm. Argon oil. Yeah. All right. So, then, sixth uh, step we have, uh, tip we have is... 
But this, this is kind of controversial, but fly on budget airlines if you can. Is it controversial? It is, because some people no. hate on it. But it's people funny. Be people trying to act bougie, People man. hate on Spirit and Frontier, but every time you book on Spirit and Frontier, they a line, line long, the line long is all over. So I don't long. know. There's a lot of faking going on out here in these streets. Listen, don't listen to what people tell y'all, okay? It's always, like, be, okay. I'll, I'll let Brian finish your tip and then I'll say that. Yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, granted, our our mantra is fly on a budget airlines as long as it's comfortable. Like, if it's like two, three hour, five hour flight, then go ahead and book it. If it's anything longer than that, I would probably suggest not because they have certain there's certain things you just can't do on the, on the budget flights, like recline your seats or have the extra, you know, Hell, something to eat, something to drink, you know, some, they restrict some of that stuff. Um, but if it's a shorter flight and you want to get to a destination fairly quickly and for for inexpensive amount of money, then I would suggest using Spirit or Frontier. Um, and another tip that you could use, if Spirit or Frontier actually flies out of your airport, you can go to the airport and book at their uh, booking, uh, what you call it? The check-in counter. The check-in counter at like... <laughs> I don't know. I've seen some crazy prices. A fraction of the cost. You save money. Like literally a fraction. Like yeah. probably 90% of the cost. I've yeah. seen people say they book flights to Florida for like 10 bucks a seat. We've never been able to do it because our local airport doesn't have a spirit. Yeah. But um, we have heard, heard several times of people that times. you, if you book at the check-in counter at the airport, you save money. Yeah. But I mean, it like Brian said, it, it, you got to weigh the pros and cons of it because sometimes flying on a budget airline is not cheaper. Um, just be, so you have to look at the face value of the ticket. Then you keep in mind that those fares often don't include baggage Bags, fees. Yep. Um, you don't, you oftentimes don't get to pick your seat in advance. Without um, having to pay. <laughs> right, without having to pay. So if you want to pick your seat in advance, there's extra cost. If you want to check it back, there's extra cost. If you want to print your ticket off at if the you place. you want to print your ticket off, there's extra cost. <laughs> but still, so, so make sure you consider all that to see if it really is a deal. Um, but still, even if we still found in some scenarios where there's still a deal, like even after we pay for our bag, even after we um, and we print our ticket at home, even after we pay for our seat selection, it's still far cheaper than if we were to choose another airline. So in those cases, we go with the budget airline. Yep. Um, and don't let people shame you for picking a budget airline. We're not sponsoring any of these airlines, but don't let people shame you. Like we we. Y'all see places we travel. We play. We we travel luxurious places, and we still, if the flight deal is right, we're gonna be on a budget airline. If we, we, I ain't traveling. I ain't traveling to Bali or nothing on a budget airline. Now. I mean, that's gonna be too uncomfortable. But it's not beneath beneath anybody to travel on some of those if it's if it's right for your pockets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but do anything. you do you though? Um, also. It's, same with budget airlines, well, similar with budget airlines, um, you can also book on most airlines these days, budget fares. So it might be a United or a Delta or any other airline like that. And they have budget fares such as basic economy. So once again, you got to weigh your pros and cons with that. With, with basic economy, you're going to save money, but you're not going to get some of the privileges that you have in regular economy. And make sure you're checking your ticket to know if it's basic economy versus regular economy. If you do basic economy, oftentimes you board last, which is fine with most people. <laughs> um, you don't get to pick your seat in advance, so you have to wait until they assign you a seat. Um, so if you're traveling like as a family, you might want to be careful about that because you want to sit with your child. Um, so just yeah. keep keep those pros and cons in mind when you're picking one flight um, class over the other. But that's another way to save money potentially. Um, another thing is to take advantage of stop over. I've never we've never flown basic economy, so yeah, I can't. We we have we, I, we have never flown basic economy. We've flown regular economy and we've flown Spirit and we've flown Frontier, but we've never flown basic economy. We have always. Um, Selected our seats and all that. We've never flown. We've never oh, yeah, flown, sure we we never flown basic Just because, yeah, because Bryce. But, but it, is, it is an option, though. Um, yeah. and, and there's people that do it and don't mind it. I, I don't personally do it, um, but I have my own reasons just because I, I need to sit with my child. And um, I can't be running the risk of not that not happening. Right. And it wouldn't be the airline fault. I couldn't be that person arguing with the airline about not, you know. So um, another thing is to take advantage of stopovers. A lot of people hear about layovers, but they don't often take advantage of stopovers. So the difference is a layover, you can have extended layovers that you are in the airport for like eight hours. 
that's a little different from a stopover. A stopover is oftentimes you're there for like a day, 24 hours or 48 hours or something like mm -hmm. that en route to your other destination. So you're not necessarily booking a different flight, but en route to your destination, you could upgrade from a layover to a stopover. This will allow you to see two destinations essentially for the cost of going one, to one destination. Yeah. So an example for us, when we went to Maldives, our main point was to celebrate our anniversary at Maldives. But in order to get there, you have to lay over at some point. For us, for the, for the route we were taking, we had to lay over in Dubai. Mm -hmm. We had the option of um, upgrading from a layover to a stopover in Dubai for just $100, 100 bucks, more. Yeah, yeah. So for just $100 more, we were able to stop in Dubai for two days, have an amazing time there, and then continue on to Maldives just by adding $100 onto our flight. Yep. We That saved us a lot of money versus going to Dubai one flight and then doing Maldives another flight. Another flight. Maldives, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. But you have to, you do have to, of course, <clears throat> book a hotel um, during I mean, the some, stopover. Some people thug it out. And you were, <laughs> some people be in the hotel, uh, in the airport. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't suggest it, but do what you do. Hey. But yeah, no, that's, well, that that's, a good, that's a good thing. Though. You, you have to, you know, keep in mind you have to book a uh, um, a hotel, so that's yeah. another cost. But it's to. still, it's still going to be much cheaper to do that than to book a whole flight to Dubai. Yeah, and then you know, make a bang for your buck in terms of time too, not just money. If you're going to fly all that way, you might as well. Because I think what Maldi, well, did I almost hit you. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Maldives is what eighteen hours, and then Dubai is thirteen hours, or maybe Maldives is yeah, yeah, because. Dubai is 13 hours and Dubai from Dubai to Maldives is four hours. So rather than go 18 hours almost and just go to one destination, we did 18 hours and split it up and did two destinations. So. Yep, yep. Uh, tip number eight is also, uh, well, use airline mileage pro <laughs> uh, uh, programs uh, like with your credit card and things like that. Like if you're with Delta, Maybe get a credit card that's associated with Delta or the what's it, the Alliance or whatever that the part of, that Delta is a part of, so you get you know. No, that's United, babe. That's United. I thought it was part Star of Star Alliance. Is United. Oh, that's only United. Oh, okay. Well, either way, get a credit card associated with the airline. That way, Being when you the people the stream. <laughs> get a credit card associated with the airline. So you know when you spend your money, go out to restaurants, uh, pay off bills, uh, buy random things. Um, the, all those points can accrue to go to booking of a air a flight so you know that's less money you have to pay out of pocket for your flight and you know not going to debt you know doing this or whatever but you know just pay as you go you know what i'm saying you want a bill if you want to pay for a bill you can pay for, via credit card just put that cash money aside and then you know when you pay with the bill automatically pay it off with that cash money that you're supposed to pay it off anyway so it, it could just you know get off your credit card and just use it that way to accrue points and accrue those rewards and also like i said before uh be loyal to try to pick a, a, a airline that you like and just stick with that um like tiffany she's all she's with it's not a plug for united or anything like that but she's with no. you know you with united right i'm with united she's but united. The, the only reason is because our major our main airport the hub it's a united hub yeah so it's not i mean i've always had great experiences with united but you're gonna hear different things about different airlines from, from everybody you talk to yeah. if you go in the north the south different airport hubs people are gonna have different experiences like our local airport, which is Dulles, our hub is United. So we're going to have better flights, a lot better of flights airplanes, yeah. many flights for United than we are Delta. But if you're in Atlanta, Delta is your hub. So you're probably going to want to have, yeah, get, you know, be more elite. Uh, um, you're going to you're gonna want to fly more Delta because you're going to have more flight options. You're probably going to have better flights. You're going to have a better experience just because that's their hub. So. Yeah, yeah. So just pick an airline. Try to stick with it. Um, the best you can. We don't always fly United. Sometimes we do JetBlue. Sometimes we do Spirit, like we said before. We do Frontier. We do pretty much, we try to look for the best deal, but if United is the best deal or whatever the case is, we will, if, if they're all the same, we'll stick with United. United. So. Or even 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 if United is a little bit more, we're probably stick with United too, just yeah. because we're adding miles to potentially get to a free flight. So, excuse me, but if United is like, ridiculously overpriced we're not gonna try to be so loyal to united that we miss a flight deal. right so that's not i'd rather get a cheap flight than yeah <laughs> but but, but as much as possible try to pick an airline you're loyal to to at least 
try to fly them majority of the time. And then you have um, different things like Frontier has a discount den program where mm -hmm. I, I don't know all the ins and outs of it because I'm not part of it, but I think like children up to a certain age fly free and stuff like that. So try to be part of a, a, a loyalty program and you and you start to get a lot of perks and stuff too when they realize that you're you're a frequent customer you start to get more perks and more upgrade opportunities um the other thing oh you already said this oh uh, I guess I okay <laughs> and the, um the last tip that we have is how you save on upgrades so sometimes you might want to upgrade your seat or go to a different class um the biggest tip we have there is to wait till check-in to upgrade, you will upgrade for a fraction of the cost. Now keep in mind, it's always a trade-off. Now you could run the risk of there being no more upgrade seats available. Um, so keep that in mind when, when doing that tip. But if, you, if you're if you like, uh, I really wanna fly first class on this flight, but it ain't gonna make or break my experience. I don't fly mine, keep staying in the economy, but I'm gonna go ahead and check in and see, see what it's looking like. But if you like definitely need to be in a certain class, like I don't think I don't think you should do this strategy because it could they could all be booked up for first class and then you're gonna miss out. But if you if you have some flexibility, wait till check in. We did this with the we when we um tell people before with the Emirates business class and we were able to literally get it for six thousand dollars cheaper. No, more than that. Yeah. What was yeah, the original I mean, cost? I don't know. I think per ticket for business was somewhere around five to six thousand per yeah. ticket yeah so we we saved like between five to six thousand dollars per ticket just by waiting to upgrade at check-in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um those are the tips we had listen candace said as soon she said listen as soon as all this craziness is done these flight benefits about to see some work i hear you <laughs> on that uh, Life With Us TV said they love Delta, but those Gucci prices. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what I they really, serve. You know, I haven't really bed. had many great experiences with Delta. I haven't had any no, bad ones. I ain't got no bed, no champizzle for free. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't had I'm any like, bad experiences either, but. Um, <laughs> I'll be on American with the 45 supporters. <laughs> I'd be on. They got 45 supporters? Oh, you, you know what? And th that's one airline I have not had great experiences with. I have not had the best experiences with American Airlines. So I don't really, really? fly them that much. I don't. I don't. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, it all depends on where you're flying from. Like everybody's going to have different experiences. And you, you have some people. Some people love JetBlue. I don't. Okay. And we, mm -hmm. went on, we, was on a, we went on about two JetBlue planes and both of them were trash. Trash. Like, I mean, they, like the, the TVs and the headset wasn't working. So it was like, we, won't, we know the TVs and the headset working. So we're going to give you a credit. I don't want no damn credit. Because I don't plan on flying. Again. Right, get my damn money right. back. Right, but 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 we're just we're saying all that lightheartedly, like seriously, like everybody you ask gonna have a different opinion on what air. I mean, if, unless you're thinking about like these overseas airlines, now they they crush our airlines yeah, hands yeah. down. You're not gonna have nobody to sit up there and say Emirates is whack, or, or Qatar Airways is whack. But I heard even Air, Air Canada, I heard was was on point. Oh really, too, Air Canada yeah. and Swiss Airlines is pretty good, but. You're gonna have different opinions from everybody. Some people can go on an airline; they literally can have have flown them one time, have a horrible experience. <laughs> Hi, mom. Have a horrible experience, and then they so they man. preaching to everybody they they come across how much they hate it. So, right. take all that with a grain of salt. Go off of your own experiences. All right. There's only really two things that I care about when I fly. One, is it affordable? And Hi, two, Jenna Patters. Hi, you did amazing on your live the other day. I'll go ahead, baby. Yeah, Sorry. so there's only two things I care about. One, if it's affordable, and two, if it's on time. Because if it's late, that's going to piss me off over the most. So, like I said, that's only two things I care about. Yeah, I don't care about that. the flight, experience, I mean, mm -hmm. all that little perks and stuff. That's cool, but just get me to my damn destination. Safely. That's all I care about, right. safely. <laughs> Jenna, Jenna said she had three flights on JetBlue last summer. That were delayed into the middle of the night, and all they gave her was free blue chips. See, <laughs> see, I'm telling y'all, we were we were flying. We flew them. The last time we flew them was coming back from Colombia, and um, like he said, the TVs weren't working, and they just was like, "Oh, sorry." Like they didn't even tell sorry, people. They didn't even bad. tell people before the flight. Like we had to get in our seat and figure it out and kind of I'm alert like, them. They're like, "Oh yeah, none of them are working." Tapping the joint. Well, why do you tell people this? Hmm. I'm like, you know what, um. But yeah, any those are the the main tips we have for you all. Any other questions you all have or anything you all want to chat about? She said her TV didn't work either. <laughs> see, I'm telling y'all. And 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 for that's a one example. See, people hate on spirit, and we're not spirit advocates. Don't don't get it twisted. 
we just have never personally had a bad experience with them. Never. And you have a lot of people talking crap about these budget airlines, but every single time we, we could be flying United or Emirates or something else, and we walk past the spirit desk and it's the line is wrapped around. So it's like if all these people hate them, it's a lot of this line long. I mean <laughs> Cash money. That's all they this, care about. And you know what you're going to you going you know what you're going to get with them. You know you ain't going to no TV, you're not going to get no snack. You right, you good, already know. You, you know to bring good, your own food. Bring your own snacks, get this good water. <laughs> you got a decent clean bathroom. You know to bring your own electronics. I ain't got to climb my seat. That's cool. I ain't got to do all that. That's what I'm saying. Don't make it too long of a flight where you got to get too comfortable. Right, right. Two, three hours, four hours, you straight and you in then you get out. So Gen Jenner, did you did you grab a drink for the chat? Because everybody else came in here with water and cranberry juice. And I watched your live. Your husband know how to make great drinks. Do you ever do you ever drink this evening? The first thing she does when she goes on a trip is go to the bar and get a drink. My Sounds type, like a my plan type to of me. girl. My type of girl. Life would be. I'm interested in how the whole process was for traveling overseas. I don't want to be uncomfortable flying, being that I will be in the air so long. Um, that's a great. That's a great. We were thinking about that as like a whole different topic that we can get into about how to pass time on these long haul flights. The longest we've been on was what twenty three hours. Yeah. Twenty three hours. That was with the hour layover. So that was one hour layover. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, you just have to make sure, and we can, we can do a video on this and do a live, but you just have to make sure that you have everything that's going to make you comfortable. Um, so make sure you have things that you enjoy doing. And you're going to have to cycle through these things about three, four times, depending <laughs> on how long the flight is. You know, but, but say, for example, you have a six-hour flight, make sure you have... Um, and depending on the airline, if you, if you know that your airline doesn't have all the electronic all the amenities, make sure you download movies on your computer, your iPad, or your phone, your favorite shows. Make sure you have a good book, good magazine. Your playlists. I, I do very, I do something very odd. I take long flights as a time to like organize my phone because as a mom and just probably just as a woman, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just men do it too, but I have a lot of pictures or like a lot of screenshots. Like I might see a recipe or something, I'll screenshot it real quick. So I have a lot of mess in my phone. So sometimes I'll take these long flights just to go through my phone and start deleting pictures and like deleting stuff or like go through my emails and clean it up. I'm not saying that that's interesting to everybody. I'm just saying like, you like if you have nothing else to do, you can't go nowhere. You might as well do stuff like that. But um, make sure you bring snacks. Um, so for the comfort stuff, make sure you drink a lot of water. Um, you know, we are, we, we love when the flights give out the free wine and beer and alcohol, but you have to balance it. So try for every beverage you have, try to have some water too, because you don't want to get dehydrated on these long haul flights. That's what you don't want to do. Um, also some people want to get so comfortable and take different medications and pills and stuff like that to make them sleep. Be careful with that because you don't want to sleep too long on these super long haul flights. You do not want to have blood clots. Yeah. It's a serious thing. I take it very serious. You do not want to sleep so long when you have blood clots and then you are jeopardizing your life. On these long haul flights, try like every hour if you can. And I'm not saying if you're in a good sleep, you can't sleep for like two hours. But try on a consistent basis to walk around. If you can't walk around for whatever reason, at least you can't really see my feet. But pretend this is my feet. Like pedal your feet. Flex your heel and toe. Anything to keep the blood circulation flowing so you don't get blood clots. Yeah. Um, we actually... The only time I really experienced like your legs or your feet swelling was flying to um, a Bali. When we, went to, when we went to Dubai and Greece, like I didn't really... We didn't really experience much of that, but just sitting down for a long period of time, um, you know, at your knees and where your legs bend at your feet, that's where you can experience um, blood clots because your um, blood is uh, cut off kind of... Mm -hmm and those bent points so like she said stand up in your seat you know what i'm saying stretch go to the bathroom walk around try to just stay try to skip movement like she said, every hour every two hours or whatever mm -hmm. um but yeah we we have a yeah. like we have we watch a movie that's like almost two hours right there then you have meal service time meal service time can take about 45 minutes to an hour just by the time somebody come down with your food and you gotta wait for the next flight attendant to come down with your drink. But it's distracting you, so that's like another hour. Read a book, you know, until you, you know. Yeah, books. Get tired of doing 
that take it by the time you might be tired take a nap five and below has these little like mini board games mm -hmm. we yeah, um yep. we got clue from five and below um that was cool um we never we both board games. never played it so that killed about an hour two hours or whatever crossword puzzles crossword puzzles coloring cards, books coloring books coloring books kids. cards uno play cards together whatever. So, anything yeah. like that. Anything yeah, like that. Anything to occupy your time while you in there, man, because you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I also have this thing where you can elevate your, your feet and you put it like on the tray table. Um, and then you put your, your feet in it so that your feet are elevated some. It helps with comfort. Like if if you want to kind of stretch out and lay, feel like you're laying a little bit more when you're when you're traveling, you can sleep that way. Um, I don't have it down here with me right now, but um, I can try to find a link to it and, and, and put it in the description box. But yeah, that's that's something that really helps because you know you can get cramped up, especially if you're tall. We both a little short, so we don't have to <laughs> right. Much, that is that, that is ba there, big but. facts. Because if we're over <laughs> six foot, then it might be a problem. Um, they said they have to work their way up the fine period. Yeah, yeah. You know, once fine can be very very scary. You know, a lot can happen, but you know, just just think of it where it's not. The probability of something happening in the yeah. sky is, is very it low. It's the safest way to fly, with safe, safest way to travel. And we right. have our ritual. Like, all of this... I'm going to sound crazy to these people. We have a ritual. I have my own personal ritual, and we have our rituals together every single time we fly. So before we go on a long-haul flight, especially if it's one that we're taking together and not with Bryce... I always have my will and everything updated. Someone, one of my, <laughs> I'm serious. One of my loved ones know where my will is in case anything happens. <laughs> and I know that sounds very morbid, but I'm a I'm a planner, and and it just make it gives me peace of mind to know that everything back at home, if something happened to us, is settled. But our personal ritual is we make sure that we pray together before that flight takes off. Like as soon as we get there, we we pray. Um, and I know everybody may believe in different things, but I'm just telling you what we do. Um, and, and and that's what yeah. <laughs> was it? I have a ritual, a prayer, a will, a crying. <laughs> crying. Yeah, Brian looking at me like I'm crazy. I I know I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but when you, now, she does go through that, listen, and I'm like, man, I, you talking about all this? That makes me even more nervous to get on this flight. It makes him more nervous. Like, it puts my mind at ease. What? Where you want to get buried? At the hell, man. We just going on vacation. No, I don't like that. I'm talking about the will for like a well, thing part of the us and Bryce is back at home. I know he's taking care. Look, well, whatever I'm, she be going through. I'm a mom. Man. I'm a mom. Okay, and that's I gotta make sure my baby fine. Okay, it's my job to make sure that the people know where to find the funds mom's and stuff. all that to, to take care of them. So yeah. I'm not saying that y'all have to do all of that, but mm. it yeah. helps me. We definitely do pray. That we definitely do pray before flights, and I, that definitely ease my because I don't like my main thing is. The only really part I really care about is the taking off and the landing, because I know that's when the pilot is sort of in control of those. Because mm -hmm. they have, we had some rough landings before, and I was just like, "Bro, what is this dude doing?" But like when you're in the air, you reach altitude. That's I mean, a, that's the safest that's time. That's the safest time, unless you hit a couple, you know, little turbulence holes or whatever like that. But for the most part, it's pretty much smooth sailing at the time. But just when that landing and Take so off and landing are probably, probably the, 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 worst the time times where people that, that most can happen. Um, so just you know, just this thing positive. Um, and what they say? I pray for everyone that touched the the plane from the baggage yes, mechanics. Yes, especially yep. mechanics. Absolute life would be. Yep, absolutely. I ain't gonna get into all that. I was about to say something, but there. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't worry people. about that. Don't, don't worry about don't that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any more <laughs> questions um, that you all have before we conclude? Yeah. Just from the time she walked in the airport to the time we touched down. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then got yeah. the check-in lady, the baggage handlers. Let me <laughs> high five and everybody. That's funny. Uh, um, an another thing that some people do, I have not tried this, but I heard that some people do it. So if anyone has ever tried it, let us know. Um, some people take um treats for the flight attendants or for everyone that's from the check-in to the to um the flight attendants, and they kind of it's something small like a candy or gum or anything and they kind of like hand it to them and sometimes they've gotten upgrades that way i've never personally <laughs> tried it but some people have and they say it, it works <laughs> um if the windows on the plane are dirty i say something if i can't see they can't even... <laughs> i know that's right <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, so if there's no other questions, we are going to wrap it up. We thank you all for joining us. And next time I need y'all. Oh, make sure you comment also in the chat because we are planning on doing these lives on a more consistent basis, um, probably like every two weeks or so. And so let us know if you like this day and time. Um, let us know you know, what day and times you like. Now, of course, it's going to have to be a time. At the end of the day, we're going to have to pick a time to work for us. But let us, oh, hi, my sister's here. Hi, Tiki. What did you join? I've been watching the whole damn time, probably. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but let us know what you all think about the date and time. If you have not clicked the like button, click it. And if you're subscribed, hit us with a hashtag subscribe in the chat. Um, and hopefully all you're enjoying this. Let us know and we'll continue to do them. Um, anything else you want to add? No, nah, man. All right. Keep it down. Cheers. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. This, tur this turned it into a whole point. Hey, man. This was the time we in right now. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Just do what you got to do. Stay safe out there. Thank you, Candace, for following the instructions. Hashtag subscribed. All right. Thank you, guys. Talk to y'all later.